Iowa at Minnesota. Very interesting game. Of course, uh, best trophy in all of football. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Um, Minnesota's favored by two and a half yeah, at, at home. Uh, the total is 32 and a half on this. Latest numbers at Bet US. It's 4 p.m. Eastern time on Fox. And that's interesting, right? Uh, I mean, it's a, a mid-afternoon, like, primetime spot. Uh, I don't know that either of these teams really belongs in that kind of a spot, but regardless, here we are. Moving into the numbers here, uh, my numbers have Minnesota favored by 5.72. Uh, Iowa is 5-0-1 oh, against the spread in their last five against Minnesota. Minnesota would love to be able to get a win over Iowa here. Um, I, I, the Hawkeyes are 5-0-1 oh, against the spread. We'll say that. <laughs> we'll say that. Uh, Iowa is 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five overall. They have finally found some semblance of life on offense. Uh, they are 12 and four. Uh, nope. That's the wrong number. That's the wrong number. Excuse me. They're all right. They're five and two against the spread against a team with a winning record. Um, they are six, two and one against the spread in their last nine road games against a team with a winning record. That's, there's something to be said about that. Kirk Ferentz knows what he's doing. Minnesota five and zero against the spread in their last five against a, a winning road team. Um, the golden Gophers are seven and one against the spread in, in their last eight, uh, home games. That's certainly something there. And they are eight and three against the spread in their last eleven, following a spread win. This team is maybe getting back right at the exact right time. I think you could say. Uh, I'm very, I'm very curious about watching this ball game. Very, very curious. All right, let's dive into the numbers here. Minnesota no longer throwing the ball uh, very much. They're throwing the ball thirty percent of the time. They are relying heavily on Mo Ibrahim, big time. Uh, running the ball, Minnesota's offense. Number 32 in PPA per rush. Uh, they are number 30 in rushing success rate, and they are running the ball at a 70% clip. It is insane. Uh, number 12 in stuff rate allowed. Number 36 in offensive line yards. They're not super explosive, but that's because they have been able to run on basically everybody. Iowa's defense, however, uh, probably not going to allow that to happen very much. They are number 24 in rushing success rate allowed. They are number 3 in PPA per rush on defense. Uh, stuff rate is number 32. Standard down PPA number 7 uh, for Iowa's defense. And it's number 48 for that Minnesota offense. So Minnesota, if they are to get behind the chains here, they could be in big trouble because uh, their passing down success rate is number 67. Iowa's defense is number three. This Iowa defense is absurd. It's number two in the country in defensive PPA per drive. That is just nuts how good this defense and special teams are. And it's really, really hard to find a predictive metric that will help with that, right? And so... Yeah, I'm I'm very, very curious about this one. Uh, let's look at the Iowa offense, which, by the way, is number 118 PPA per drive on, on the Iowa offense here. Uh, the Minnesota defense is number 25 in success rate allowed overall, number 35 uh, passing success allowed, number 27 rushing success allowed. So, at the same time, like... They're, they're number 42 in PPA per rush, so I was not really going to be able to, to run the ball a ton, I don't believe. Um, but then as far as like passing the ball, Iowa has not been good at passing the ball over the past five weeks. You look at these numbers, which, by the way, these numbers are over the past five weeks. Number 121 PPA per pass, number 104 passing success rate, and that's actually up from where it was earlier in the year. Uh, I, I know that Iowa has been great on the road. I know that they have been playing much better lately. But Minnesota seems to pull out these games every now and then, uh, especially at home under P.J. Fleck. It's like they set their eyes on something and and they find a way to get it done. And I think they're going to do the same, the same thing here. Um, I'll take Minnesota to cover this two and a half here. Uh, I, think, I think they're getting healthier. And if they do that, then they are going to be in a prime spot to be able to win this ball game. Iowa, again, special teams. Defense. Nobody talks about Phil Parker. They should. Um, Minnesota minus two and a half is the way that I'm going to lean on this one. So give me them gophers. I like it. Uh, as far as the total, I mean, I can't bet under 32 and a half. I'd, I'd, give me, I'd probably have to roll. Uh, I'd probably have to ride with the over, but regardless. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. 
and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.